I just asked ChatGPT what its carbon footprint was, and instead of a straight answer, I got this response. However, reports from MIT and Stanford that have looked into this show it's a lot. According to MIT, training and running AI models in general can emit nearly five times the lifetime emissions of the average American car, including the manufacturing of the car itself. Stanford's report, which looked more closely at specific AI models, says OpenAI's ChatGPT-3 generated 502 tons of carbon emissions in 2022, which is roughly the same as what 110 cars would emit in a year. But it's not just ChatGPT that consumes this much energy. Other AI chatbots from companies like Microsoft and Google are also energy intensive in general. Researchers found that Google's AI made up 10 to 15% of the company's total electricity consumption in 2021. Then there's Bloom, a competitor to ChatGPT, which in a year consumed enough energy to power the average American home for 41 years. As you can see, AI is very energy intensive, and it can eventually be more intensive than crypto, like Bitcoin, which consumes more electricity annually than the whole of Argentina. Now, asking it a single question won't use this much energy, but in order to train and run AI, you have to power massive data centers across the globe. And at this current moment, measuring the exact number of emissions or the impact it's having on the environment could be difficult. That's because of how quickly the technology is growing and the limited public data we have on the emissions it's responsible for. It's also not clear where the energy to power the AI servers is coming from. Data centers could be drawing their electricity from coal or natural gas fired plants or from solar and wind farms. That being said, companies like OpenAI and Microsoft have put out statements saying things like, we take our responsibility to stop and reverse climate change very seriously, and that they are investing in research to measure the energy use and carbon impact of AI while working on ways to make large systems more efficient. At the same time, they're actually looking at promising ways AI can help optimize energy usage. So hopefully as they release more powerful versions, they do end up making them more efficient, especially since companies like Microsoft have made pledges to be net zero by 2030. Until then, one thing is for sure, this is just another thing we can add to the list of issues and fears we have with AI.